And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to more Mega Man 3 PC, or Mega Man 3 DOS. Okay, so now we're, uh, we're left with Bit Man, and Blade Man, and Oil Man. And I think Oil Man was the one we couldn't beat, or where we couldn't ma make it all the way to the boss when we did this with Dropka and Kaiser, so let's do that. Let's go check out Oil Man's level. I, I think this is one of the dumber levels. Blade Man was the one where we were talking about Fantastic Four. I mean, we were talking about Fantastic Four. Oh yeah, I... yeah. This game... this looked exactly like a level from uh, the first DOS game. That's why I don't like it. And you have the uh, friggin' flowers shooting at you. Yeah, this is... I, th this is the thing. Uh, okay, yeah, here was the cobra-headed spider enemy. Yeah. This background, this background is really annoying because, um, because you have the oil drops falling, but they're almost the exact same color as the background, and then these lasers as well, like, I can't, I can't seriously, like, tell. Okay, now it's shot. Uh, run. Ooh. Like, the timing for this thing is, like, so annoying. I'm trying to figure out, oh yeah, and then I have the turrets there. Those red drops, those are fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's all this other bullshit that I hate. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Okay. Hazmat was there. Oh, and the bee guy. I hate those bees. I hate those bees. Not the bees, not the bees. Okay, I got him. I really hope I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past this game to just like put me on a, like a complete wild goose chase. Like, yeah, those bees are really, they move so fast. Like even with the lowered cycles, they're really hard to hit. Oh, it came right on me. Are you, oh no. Oh God, this fucking bee's gonna get me. Ah! Come on, get down, get down. All right, there was a health power up here, but it's a dead end. Fuck. So wait, am I supposed to... Ugh. Jesus. Those lasers. <sighs> Is there any way for me to... trip up those lasers? I'm so goddamn slow. Can't get away fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> no! No, they're gonna get me! No! Oh! Jesus, please let me start from the top of this tower. Oh! I was out of lives. Well, shoot. Okay, so it was C to retry, and now I gotta wait for a little while. So yeah, I was talking about Mega Man X6, and... Man. That game, that game has really not been my cup of tea. It's so weird. I like, I think the like the problem, the main problem with the game is like the levels. All the fucking levels have like a really stupid gimmick to them that just you know makes it makes it so that it's not really fun to play at all. Oh god, no! I really hate those blue lasers against the evil forces of blue laser. As from the Cheat Commandos. Cheat Commandos! Always fighting for freedom! Buy all our... Pr <laughs> buy all our playsets and toys! It's not a Honda Let's Play unless there's... If there's not like a... Homestar Runner reference somewhere down the line. Yeah, giving me weapon energy. Whoop de freaking do. It's funny that Oh Yeah, sorry, that I keep budging up the jump and shoot shoot buttons. Can't understand why I've already been three levels in this game. I think I'd learn how to how to play by now. Well, 
jump. Might as well jump. God damn it. I, I, I'm also like having the same problem with this game as I was having with Mega Man X6. That just no power up. Just no energy power ups at all from the enemies. Just weapon energy. Two hazmat guys. How lovely. Because dealing with one of these guys isn't, like, enough of a pain. And no health! Are you kidding me? Thank you. God damn it. Like, is it so hard to just give me the freaking health? Ugh. Oh no, oh no. And that's another thing that I don't get is like why how come the Mets are like some of the the hardest enemies to kill in this game? Oh god, are you sh starting me all the way from here? I guess it's a little bit easier now that there are no enemies, but still, god. That's another thing, like, I wish there just were, like, more, like, you know, in Mega Man X6 as well. I, I just wish that there were more, like, checkpoints, you know, so that when you die, you didn't have to, like, go start from pretty much, like, from the beginning of the level. Okay, now I think I'm on the right track. Ah, that's the mosquitoes from the oh, previous game. Shit. Oh, God! Okay, you can't get me here. The only thing that I hate about that is that... Is that... Oh. Jesus, that mosquito is really starting to piss me off. We made it to the boss room. Yes. I also love how these bosses, uh, like, really barely resemble the, like, the picture. Not as advertised. <laughs> right. <laughs> we are really like blasting through this game. So it's the Bitman and the uh, who? Who else is left? Bitman and the other guy. What's the other guy? A Blade Man. Oh yeah. So we didn't get to Blade Man last time. I'm gonna leave Bitman last because I know how to beat him. He said with un with unfounded confidence. Because <laughs> I really want to... I don't remember if... I don't think we got up to Blade Man. Oh no, was this the... Oh no, yes we did, yes we did, sorry. Yeah, I forgot this was the... Uh... Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah. This is where I have to... The, navigate this watery maze. So, this game, you know, it's fun. It's actually kind of fun. Honestly, I'm having a good time now playing this game, uh, as opposed to Mega Man X6 where I was just raging all the time. Because, you know, once you get... Because, you know, once you get up to the boss, you know, it is it is fun that in some some of the Mega Man games like you get like a decent boss fight, uh, like where where the bosses actually like give up a give a decent fight, but like a lot of the times you just kind of wish like man I wish this was already over, and you know so, in some there, are, there there's like plenty of games in the X series for instance where 
once you use like, the correct weapon on somebody, like, you know, the fight is basically over because uh, they can't, like, do anything. Although I've noticed, like, in the X-Series, there's... Oh. There's also a lot of that where you have to kind of balance it out using... Okay, I did not realize that you could just go through those barrels. I did not think that that was a thing you could do. I thought they were an obstacle. Yeah, that's a, that's a general issue with this game. They really should have made it more clear, like with color schemes or something, like what you can actually interact with. Oh, there's the fish guy. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, good. We're halfway through the level now. I remember this part. Now we're gonna go down to the sewers. I really did not like this part. Like, the, the platforming in this, it's not like, it's not like annoying. Uh, yeah, well, okay, yeah, it, it is annoying, but it, at least it's not impossible, like... It, like, that's a, that, that was like my, that is like my number one main gripe with Mega Man X6, like, that platforming is literally impossible. Oh god, ugh. But yeah, it's the blue lasers again. Goddamn blue lasers. No, that's exactly what I'm, what I was talking about. You gotta be so quick with those, or you'll, otherwise you'll get hit. Wait, which one was it? I think it's the fur, further one. Like, I'm just gunning for the boss. I'm not gonna go after extra lives or anything like that. Come on. Yes, here we go. Oh. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh yeah, this is the thing I'm supposed to... Does the oil get me from this angle? No. Oh no, fucking hazmat. Okay. Whoa, that... Ugh. On. And it comes back, that's the other thing, like... It's, anno it's annoying enough that you can't, like, you can barely even see the laser, but then the fact that it bounces back... Like, that is some... horse hockey. Because you, can't, you can't stay on that platform. If you do, you get fu You are... I'm gonna get, try to get that hazmat. Yes, I got him. Great. Okay. That was like, but that was like the worst of the worst. Ooh, health. Precious health. Man, that is impossible. You cannot get past that without taking a hit. Oh, God. These enemies are a little bit, feel a little bit like the first DOS game, and I think there's more blue lasers up there. Yep. Thought so. But fuck you, I managed to get through! <laughs> okay, oh no, oh no, ooh. Where's it starting from? Oh no, I'm, what, was I again out of lives? Damn it! <laughs> I have to do the first part. Yeah. I have to do the per first part again. The fir well, the first part isn't too bad. By the way, I reassigned a bun some of the buttons again because J is jump and space is fire. Which honestly, in the easier levels, it's actually not uh, that bad. But once you get into anything that's a little bit more tricky in this game, like it's, it's like, oh fuck, like my arm is getting hurt. Hurt just thinking about it. Ugh. No! Come on, go down. Go down the pipe. Come on, Mega Man. Come on, Mega Man. Do it. Do it now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I got past it. Luckily, that doesn't actually do a whole lot of damage. You can just dank it. Oh, no, but did I... Uh, did, I did I fuck it up? No, I, yeah, I, I, I did the right thing. Okay, good. The, 
That, that's the thing I don't like, is the fact that when you get hit, you just kind of bounce up. Because it's already, like, hard enough. Ugh. Oh, wait, yeah, this, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yes! All right, good, go, 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 Mega Man, go. Don't let nothing stand in your way. Oh yeah, about the music. So that what I was getting at is like actually I've been re-watching a lot of the classic uh, Universal horror movies. Uh, I hadn't watched Bride of Frankenstein in a long time, so I, that's what started started it. And then I felt like ah, you know, I should probably watch the old Dracula, the Bela Lugosi Dracula. The thing about the Bela Lugosi Dracula, like, it's it's such a weird movie to watch, because, as people should probably, people probably know, at least, or at least I hope people know, that there's actually no music in the original Bela Lugosi Dracula. So that was what, what I was getting at, is that the DVD that I have actually comes with, like, an alternate music track, which adds music to the scenes, and it's, like, I think last time I watched it without the added background music, and I remember that I was really like starting to fall asleep a little bit because of that. Oh god. I wish they would have at least made the platforms a little bit bigger. The reason I'm trying to get the hazmat guy is because that corner is not safe at all. Oh god! I'm gonna lose a life here, I'm pretty sure. I'll take care of this duck guy. Oh god, no! Jesus! Oh yeah, this is the part that I that I was complaining about last time, that it put me all the way back here. <laughs> oh dear god. Okay, okay. Okay. Mm. didn't jump far enough. It's so annoying because you have to do this so quickly as well because that laser really doesn't give you a lot of time. Oh god! That is so annoying. Okay, I gotta wait for it to bounce back. That's a thing it does. Goddamn blue lasers. I don't remember if there were any in the, uh... In Big Man's level. Ugh. Yes, got him. The annoying thing is just the fact that it keeps, like, knocking you back off... Kept knock knocking me back from, uh, when I was going through there previously. Oh boy. Thank God, some health. Oh, so that's how you do it. You run. <laughs> so that's how you kids do it, huh? Oh dear. Did I... Oh... I guess it's nice that you have, like, alternate paths, but... Oh, come the fuck on already. Please, let this be... Yes, there's the water tank, so... And the boss room's right... In... Oh, I can't... Ugh, hurt that guy. Come on, jump out, jump out. Second to last... Robot Master. Yes, 
done and done. So when we come next time, come back next time, we'll take on Big Man.